Here we are at the Everything Electric Show. And on this video, we're gonna focus on the modified EVs and EV conversions, because that's what we do at Charge Heads. My name's Tim, let's get into it. So here she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? So, I've just got to the Heathrow Maxxis stand and they've got a really nice selection of vans. Now, you'd think that that's not very exciting. However, you'd be wrong because they've got a Maxxis T90 EV, which is a pickup truck, which they've modified with some of the Maxxis parts. Check this out. So, the standard Maxxis does not look like this. And I've always thought, do you know what? Have the Maxxis with the uh, wrapped grill which they're going to do. They haven't done it yet. It's chrome at the moment. They're going to do it. But look at all the other things they've done. They've put a ball bar at the bottom here. It says extender. <laughs> they've got some upgraded wheels. It says uh, Cosmis on. What size are they? They are, uh, they're Continentals. And they are extra load. And they are 2556018. But they completely changed the look of the car. You've got the... Um, uh, the mouldings for the arches, uh, a few wind deflectors, one on the uh, bonnet, on the uh, windows, we've got the roof rails. Instead of chrome, this has been uh, painted in black and it just completely transforms the car. It looks so much better. They were doing some really good lease deals on the T90 Maxxis. And um, no, the range, although they're only real drive at the moment, the four-wheel drive one will be coming to market soon. Um, you know, it's a decent truck. And bearing in mind, you know, the trucks aren't the cleanest thing in the world. This is, you know, your chance to have something that's utilitarian, uh, but also electric. But I'm sure once they've uh, uh, wrapped the black, the, the grill black, and they've tinted the windows, this is going to look an absolute treat. So what we got here is the silence little mini, I don't know, quadricycle or something. Um, very high quality. It's very high quality, yeah. Um, so I don't know what's under here. Screen wash. No dear. Like I so, high, quality. <laughs> high quality. So um, it does actually have two removable battery packs that can be charged off a three pin. So it's that one there. And I think there's one on the other side and they're five kilowatt hours each. Um, and then on the scooter it's just got one but this will do unlike the Ami which I like the Ami I think it's pretty cool um, that unfortunately only does 30 miles an hour but this does 56 there we go 52 miles an hour 92 mile range so let's be honest it's probably about 60 70 ish depending on speed on the road if it stays on the road that is 22 kilowatt peak power but it's, it's a fun little thing i suppose the seats are offset so yeah it's, i mean it's interesting i mean i was moving to the left and right and it was wobbling a little be interesting to drive it. it's a shame they haven't got it on the uh, test drive course but uh clive thumbs up thumbs down well like for a town car it looks great for a town car it is yeah, great you yeah you wouldn't want to go on, a, on the open road would you you can't have a small car that's good on the open road you can with a silence not in high winds <laughs> no, high winds, no, and it is certainly a lot of that today. Yeah. Right, let's go and find something a bit more robust. Very high quality. <laughs> We're at the retrospective, I could get that right, the retrospective scooter um, stand where they've got some, where they've got some uh, Vespers that have been EV converted. I've seen these guys on uh, the socials, it's great to see them here today at everything electric some really lovely mo uh, lovely mopeds and um chap over here has modified uh his a little bit more to make it faster it does something like 80 miles an hour but let's go and interview him now sorry dude what, what's your name marcus marcus tim nice, nice to meet you marcus here. marcus can you tell us about your vespa okay. um this Not is a uh, modern px which we've converted to electric. Um, yep. It runs a four kilowatt motor. With four, a four kilowatt motor, yeah. Far driver, 450 amp controller, which I've turned down to about 200 amps. And um, 
This was built in our workshop by me. Um, I'm one of the technicians who does all the electric conversions. This bike runs a keyless ignition. So it switches on with the key, uh, no key. Gangster. Like, look at the purple. Nice, yeah, yeah, nice. Cool. <laughs> and, um, so I've modified it from our normal range of vehicles that we do. This is a bit more turn up. Way okay. more turn up. Um, the max speed I've done on this is about 83 miles per an hour. 83. And it can still go a bit more, but um, 10 inch wheels, you don't want to be going any faster than about 60, but I'm a speed freak, so. You and, you, and you said, told me that you used to modify uh, two classic. strokes. Yes, I used to modify old classic and modern two strokes. So, like Piaggio Typhoons, Vespa, Vespa, any Vespa that's a two stroke, I used to modify them. Gilera Runners stuff like that that's my background and I came to this company so I've been doing electric conversion since yeah I'm still a speed freak at heart so I, I, I basically figured out how to modify electric I saw EV no matter you yeah. found you found a niche so there we go we've got someone that was massive petrol head and now he's taken that and he's injected it into EV conversions but mate you're loving loving it loving the Vespa thanks buddy nice one here we are in the EV conversion section and we've got Felton and Silent Classics with a few of their vehicles. Let's have a little look. So Felton have got their drop-in battery pack, quite cool with the carbon. Uh, they've got their Defender here, looking dirty, is exactly how it should be. Jack's uh, Fiat 500 EV conversion. Again, we've, you know, we've seen these cars and got the detail many times before. But it's always good to see Jack's cars, you know, his 240Z is an absolute gorgeous bit of kit. He um, said that um, he has got DC charging, but it's not quite working at the moment. So that's something he's trying to rectify. Um, but yeah, he's done a thousand miles on it now. So uh, he is definitely enjoying it. He says he doesn't, he wish he had more time to drive it. Uh, when I spoke to him, but yeah, I want, I'm guessing he's going to be driving it home as well. It's all legal, and the Mini, the EV conversion from Felton, uh, with the Mini conversion kit, which is behind us. So we were lucky enough to drive the uh, Heritage Mini at Farnborough last year. Check out that video it's really really loads of fun here we are at the EV breakers stand uh, got Calvin there he's just talking to one of the show uh, guests and um, this is definitely my favorite stand 100% we've got a modified Tesla Model 3 performance with a cage in it uh, and we've got EV parts you know we've got the Nissan uh, leaf stack just there looks like uh, the original stack a really early one got battery module looks like uh, the mg zs battery modules that are in uh, the tvr that i'm converting um but yeah i was uh, it was really interesting this uh, tesla because i was jumping in it to find out where the vcu is the e ecu because i need to connect it with the boost 50 i've got uh, you can't really see but yeah this is all roll caged in and um what calvin's looking to do is take this on track uh, but EV breakers just to give you a little bit of a background uh, I got my TVR EV batteries from them and um, they're great if you want parts for EV conversions from batteries point of view or if you want uh, replacement parts for your EV so they're based in Northern Ireland but they are they only deal in EV spares and they've been doing that for the last few years. Uh, Calvin's dad, who's in the background actually, uh, had a, a breaker's yard and um, Calvin decided, saw, saw the gap in the market, saw the niche and decided, do you know what, dad, we're gonna, we should go full EV uh, from the spares point of view and it's just grown and grown. It's, it's great to see him here because I've not actually, I've been talking to him on the phone many times but I've not actually um, met him in the flesh so it's great to meet him great guy and what we're gonna do we're gonna have Calvin on a charge heads live very very soon and we can get into a bit more detail deep dive into the EV breaker world so that'd be great but you know this Tesla what an absolute 
amazing looking thing with the wrap and the cage proper proper cool but we're gonna leave it there now for the everything electric show so thank you very much for watching and don't forget Thursdays 8 p.m. we've got the charge heads live every Thursday 8 p.m. and we've also got the uh, an EV meet and the EV meet is going to be at the uh, electric vehicle festival which is at Lutterworth on the 28th of April we've got a stand there got a few cars coming down as well it's gonna be loads and loads of uh, EVs there loads of clubs it'll be absolutely amazing so come and see me there come and say hello and uh, if you've got a modified EV or EV conversion let us know if you're gonna be down there It'd be great to get some footage and say hello thanks for watching see you next time